Well, hello. This is HBM's Crypto Corner for Saturday, August 27th, 2016. Realize I I said I was going to do this weekly, and yeah, I've been falling behind. Um, although I did put up a video recently of a um, a news report from around 1999 from the Pacific Northwest talking about uh, uh, Cliff Crook saying that the Patterson-Gimlin film is a hoax based on some supposed artifact found on it around its waist. You guys can see that on this channel. Also, John Kirk is featured on that particular um, report as well. Anyway, this is going to be kind of an abbreviated edition because we don't have a whole lot to discuss this week, but what we do have to discuss, well, let's just go ahead and get started. Very interesting article from uh, Northwest Travel and Life magazine. Article is called Searching for Sasquatch. And they talk to uh, Derek Reynolds of the Olympic Project. He talks about his sighting. Uh, they also recommend uh, websites such as the Olympic Project, the BFRO website. One called Hood Canal Events, which apparently operates Sasquatch tours by special request. Also, Sasquatch Country Adventures, Bill Miller, up there in Harrison Hot Springs. Also, Thomas Steenberg. My only thing is, they call these uh, Sasquatchers experts. Now, we know there's no experts when it comes to Sasquatch. You can't be an expert on something that has not been definitively proven to exist. So, But still a very good article. I, I really did like it. Very interesting. Um, you know, so it's, it's a good read. It's a good read. I'll just say that much. Then a recent video has come out, which has, is called Bigfoot Sightings 2016. And this is kind of covering the gamut of reports from this year, uh, news reports, things of that nature. So, very interesting stuff. I think the video is like 40-something minutes. So, it's kind of a long one, but I think it's worth checking out. And apparently, uh, Tim Stover, a longtime researcher in the Buckeye State in Ohio, he is... Um, his group is called Ohio Bigfoot Hunters. <coughs> he's apparently checking out some, uh, check, he's checked out an island apparently, which might be a perfect habitat for a Sasquatch. So, very interesting stuff. And it's a good idea to check, like, islands and things of that nature. Especially if they're isolated, nobody goes there. Um... And there could be all kinds of evidence that you might be able to find on an island. You never know. So, looks interesting. I have to say that much. It's a good theory, too. Now, I do want to remind once again about the upcoming International Bigfoot Conference, which takes place next weekend, in fact, in uh, Kennewick, Washington. Um, last video that I put up, I talked about all the speakers that are going to be there. I mean, it looks like it's going to be an inter interesting uh, event. Um, kind of wish that I could go, but, um, well, the funding is such that, uh, no, I, it's not possible for me. But it looks like it's going to be a great event. Um, I'm wishing the, or the organizers of the event luck on it. Hope that uh, they will, hopefully, hopefully the event will do well, and um, looks like it um, could be a good time. I just hope that all goes well with the event. And you know, there's other conferences that are occurring this fall. There will be the Boggy Creek Festival in Falk, Arkansas, probably late October of this year. 
There's also the um, the Hocking Hills Bigfoot Conference, which takes place um, last. I mean, the last full weekend of September, which will be the 23rd through the 25th. They'll be at Hocking Hills State Park in Ohio. Uh, there's also there's also the um, well, this weekend is the Virginia Bigfoot Conference. That's taking place in, uh, I think it's Hungry Mother State Park, I believe it is. And uh, there's several speakers at that event. And I wish the organizers of that event luck. I know uh, Billy Willard is the uh, organizer of that. And... I realize that uh, Bill Dranginis is one of the speakers. Uh, you know, Bill had his own sighting in 1995 in, in Virginia when he was out with a couple of um, FBI investigators. Well, I don't know if they were investigators, but they were they were FBI agents, as it were. And they saw the same thing. Here is the Facebook page for the uh, Virginia Bigfoot Conference. Yeah, Marion's Hungry Mother State Park, Marion, Virginia. That's it. See, I believe, yeah, Larry Batson is also a speaker this weekend. That should be good. I'm trying to think who else is going to be speaking oh well <laughs> how convenient here's a video this will tell you hopefully I get the video to play shouldn't be that difficult And there you go. That's the list of speakers for this weekend's Virginia Bigfoot Conference. Um, I do know there's going to be some local speakers at the Hocking Hills event. Let's see, I can go to that and let y'all see. I, uh, Cliff Berrickman, I understand, is going to be at the Hocking Hills event. Also, Mark Mazel, who is um, Ohio BFRO. Let's see this page. I don't know if this page actually tells us who the speakers are. I will do another search. I believe there's a website. I probably have to find the website. <coughs> Just hang in there, folks. I'll get you as much information as I can on this. Let y'all see what's going on. And there's going to be I like auctions and things like that. There's Cliff. Cliff Barrickman, the Ohio Night Stalkers will be there. Yep, Mike, Mike and Jordan.
There's going to be you know au auction items, things like that, just like at the Ohio Bigfoot Conference. Waiting for the page to load completely. Okay, here is the link to the website. <coughs> I think the website will probably give more information than the Facebook page. Like I say, just bear with me, folks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, here's there's Cliff. Cliff is one of the speakers for the event. Yep, Charlie Raymond. Yeah, Charlie Raymond, Dr. Russ Jones, <coughs> and Mark Mazel. Yes, that's going to be an all-star lineup. <coughs> Excuse me. So there it is, right there. There's the speaker lineup for the. Hocking Hills Bigfoot Conference. Wish I could go. Looks like it's going to be a great time. And if anybody's ever read Dr. Jones's book, excellent book, by the way, Tracking the Stone Man, it's full of great information about what's going on in West Virginia. And by the way, it's a highly recommended book. I got to say that much right now. Great book. Sees. Of course, there's also the Sasquatch Summit coming up in November. And I know Cliff is going to be a speaker at that, Cliff Berkman. Uh, Bob Gimlin is going to be there as well. Uh, Tom Powell, members of the, of the Olympic Project, of course. Since so that's kind of in the OP's backyard, I mean, it's at, it's at Ocean Shores. It's right there on the, you know, in the in, in the Olympic Peninsula area. If I can get the website to come up, I believe David Politis is supposed to speak there as well. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he's one of the speakers. Yep, there we are, David Politis. He's one of the speakers, one of the scheduled speakers. Cliff, I mentioned Cliff Berrickman, there you go. <coughs> yep, Jeff Meldrum, he's going to be back as a speaker. Uh, Christopher Noel. Derek Randalls, David Ellis, Tom Baker. Now th those are members. Of, those three are members of the Olympic Project. Yeah, I mentioned Tom Powell. Toby Johnson, the organizer of the. To Oregon Sasquatch Symposium. Yeah, Guy Edwards? Yes, Guy. Mm hmm. He's going to be speaking. Mitchell Townsend. And that's it for the Sasquatch Summit. So. You guys know the drill. All the links will be in the description below. So, uh,. Sorry, sorry, it was kind of a slow news week, and plus, you know, I was not quite prepared. <laughs> I was not quite prepared as far as the uh, the links to all the conferences and things like that. So my apologies, folks. Uh, but hopefully, this will give you an idea of what's going on, what's coming up this fall, as far as Bigfoot events, Bigfoot conferences. It's going to be a pretty full, uh, pretty full bracket, as it were. And just after Labor Day, Mark DeWorth has announced he will be he will be uh, revealing who the first speaker the announce the first announced speaker who who that will be 
for the 2017 Ohio Bigfoot Conference, which is being subtitled The Big One. So it should be great. Uh, I think that uh, most likely there will be a some kind of, I'm sure, event, sub-event to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Patterson-Gimlin film. That's kind of why I've chosen not to go to the Willow Creek celebration next October because they'll most likely have something in, uh, in Ohio for that, so... I mean, would I love to eventually go to Willow Creek one of these days? Yes, but I've just made a decision not to go to that one. Especially seeing as how Stephen Stroyford mentioned that uh, that area is probably going to be closed off anyway, so there won't be any way to get to the film site. Not unless you have an in with the, uh, with the Forest Service, I guess. Besides, I, I guess I have some things to, I'm, I'm going to have some things to take care of here at home anyway. So, and that's not really a good time of year um, for me to, to go out of town. So, I'm going to be sticking around the house, sticking around home uh, during that week and that weekend. But I will be celebrating the PG film in my own way. I might even do a hangout, have some people on to talk about it, like on that Friday. That, that, that wouldn't be a bad suggestion, actually. That wouldn't be a bad idea for me to have a live hangout right around the time the film was taken and have some people on with me. I'll see about doing that. But anyway, uh, that is going to do it for this week's edition of, uh, of this show. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and uh, I'm probably going to have another news report about the Patterson-Gimlin film and the hoax claims, things like that. i have that up either later today or tomorrow. And of course, this will go up just about immediately. Uh, just matter, matter of fact, immediately after I finish. So, until next week, y'all be good or be good at it. This is, oh, one other thing. One other thing I wanted to mention. I feel like Columbo. There's just one more thing. Uh, I saw an announcement that Todd and Diane Neese are going to be giving away two passes to next year's Beachfoot event. So, if you, But they'll be giving those away at next weekend's International Bigfoot Conference. So if you are attending the IBC next weekend... You may have a chance, you and your loved one or a friend or whatever, to go to Beachfoot next year. So that should be great. So, so I, I will I will go on ahead and conclude with my usual uh, my usual ender, as it were. Y'all be good or be good at it. This is Matrium Crypto Corner. <laughs>